Good evening, I'm uh, Giuseppe Basile, I'm the Anderson Schweder, you can find at the blog fibstalker.com. I am a certified technical analyst aligned with the IFTA, the International Federation of Technical Analysts, and uh, I often publish for uh, SITAT, uh, which is the Italian chapter of the, um, of the, um, or, uh, of the organization and uh, I'm involved in uh, research uh, on um, trading uh, techniques, uh, money and risk management, as well as um, high frequency trading. In this video, uh, this is the third one of this uh, week's series, I'm going to review for you the um, pound versus the US dollar, the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, and the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar forex uh, pairs. Uh, this video is only for my uh, newsletter subscribe, uh, subscribers and you can subscribe for free going to my uh, website fibstalker.com and on the left side you'll find an icon and uh, you can register there. For those who follow me, um, I, uh, I, I follow a method which is based on trying to understand what program trading is doing. Program trading is one of the most powerful classes of uh, algorithmic trading and these days uh, markets are governed by uh, program trading uh, don't think even a minute that um, uh, the swings that you see on the screen depend on human emotions some of them they do uh, the majority they do depend on uh, computer program tradings trading um, uh, programs trading the market so um, Let's start from the uh, pound versus the US dollar, which you see on the screen is the daily chart for this pair. And in the in the last few uh, weeks, I've been indicating this level as a level of uh, support. This is an extension, and as we can see, we have participation from program trading around this 150, 158.50 uh, area here. And price um, continued, of course, moving higher because program trading will do whatever they can to uh, to bring price into their targets. And the first target of this measured move is going to be 164.55. So, the current behavior of uh, the pound versus the U.S. dollar is, looks in sync with a, a potential continuation of the euro higher. And uh, if we get to 164 uh, on the euro, we will be well on our way to get into into 141, which is our target level on that uh, on that market. And this is an extension, so we have the possibility, the real possibility of getting to 164.50 uh, uh, level of first level of target. But we have uh, a very good opportunity and possibility to move into 167.70 area. Which from current levels uh, makes um, it makes uh, actually a 500 pips uh, move 500 plus 550 mm, pips move higher. So be very careful. Um, uh, this might be a little bit extended, especially in the four hour time frame. So uh, use the techniques. I have a technique uh, which is called Fibonacci stalking. It's a timing technique you can use to uh, safely enter a market. Uh, and uh, manage risk in a proper way. Uh, moving to um, Australian dollar versus the US dollar, uh, I was uh, looking at the area, an area of support in this market that uh, failed uh, miserably this week, which is a good, a good, a good thing because now things are are much clearer on this market. So I just want to start again from the. Um, from the weekly here and uh, those who follow me know that since more than, than one year uh, I've been, uh, I've been uh, analyzing this market uh, and looking at the um, looking at the extensions uh, that broke price higher and uh, I know program trading has been using this level 0830 and it brought uh, price into parity first uh, initially and then uh, in this 110, 110 level, which was the second turn, and, and from there we see we saw no continuation higher. So this market started a correction lower, and we know where this market is going now. Um, the uh, the level this market is going is all the way all the way back from the lows. 
uh, and that's very important which is uh, I believe 080 brings us to this level of support 085 45 or 85 40 uh, and the reason why I say that uh, is because the sequence of measure moves on the other on the other direction failed failed uh, miserably um, this um, this week um, and initially we got some sort of support also from the 20 day moving average but then as you can see this week we failed this uh, important level 091 which I've, I've been um, I've been um, um, I've been uh, uh, mentioning to you uh, and I mentioned it also last week so um, what are we trading at the moment is this measure move lower so I will remove this area of support it's not there anymore and this level of, of resistance is actually bringing price right into that uh, 85.40 actually even a little bit below that 84 so um, I now anticipate a continuation lower I don't see any support in this market at least until we, st we get into 85.40 uh, and after that we, we could go lower as well and we will see how the market, uh, how the market be, will behave there there is a possibility to get up a flush in this market if the and that would anticipate something very bad in the um, Australian dollar and Australian economy as well um, uh, which uh, some say has been on a bubble uh, driven by price of uh, of gold and internal market but I uh, I, I do not uh, I never I never comment on um, on uh, fundamentals I, I try to look at price because price will tell things to us that um, that uh, fundamentals uh, and, and real economy will only show after maybe a few weeks or a few months sometimes sometimes it's a few days it's, if, it's a few days if we if we look at decision of central banks but anyway um, what I'm um, what I'm looking for for this market is 08540 so uh, be very 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 careful in um, in getting on this market you should be short this market uh, moving then to finally to the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar um, those who follow me know that uh, I've been looking at this market and especially at the and uh, at the level of resistance it looks like the US dollar cannot get uh, above this level when compared to the Canadian dollar and make no mistake it happened what I um, I suggested last week uh, which is actually as soon as we got into this 10566 there were uh, there were programs on the weekly time frame and on the monthly time frame ready to sell this market so um, let's let's take a look at the daily to see where uh, where uh, this market could uh, could be moving um, we had um, we can consider this measure move here and um, uh, and uh, as you can see uh, actually this measure move did, did not trade did not trade as well so uh, from a daily from a daily point of view I think we are uh, we are uh, we were uh, in this extension here and um, and we uh, we reached the uh, target 105.40 uh, and we also reached that level of, of uh, resistance that I showed you before and after that uh, there was no interest in keep bringing this price higher so um, what I uh, what I'm looking at at the moment it's uh, it's on the daily uh, programs using the same uh, anchor so I think we're going to get a retrace here at least into 104.40 and that's what I would see for this market so if on Monday we get a we get a, re a reaction higher and then you see again the market moving lower um, that could be that could be a good trade to bring this price this market into 104.40 and uh, again you can use my um, Fibonacci stalking technique in order to uh, time the market in a safe way uh, it's a very good technique when you have support or resistance and it helps you to proce procedurally test these levels of uh, support and resistance a very useful um, technique 
which is based on the behavior of program trading on the smaller time frames uh, i hope this video is useful um, this is only for my uh, subscribers if you want to receive this video and watch it in the weekends you can uh, you can always subscribe for free on my uh, website www.fipstalker.com thank you uh, very much for your attention and i wish you a great weekend and a safe trading week uh, next week uh, bye bye now